Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing how to differentiate a geometric sequence from an arithmetic sequence. Let's have the following objectives in today's topic. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to Letter A. Recognize which is an arithmetic sequence and which is a geometric sequence. Letter B. Identify the difference between arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence. And Letter C. State whether each of the following sequences is arithmetic or a geometric sequence. So let's have first the following definition of arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence. So when we say arithmetic sequence, it is a sequence where every term after the first term is obtained by adding a constant called the common difference. So when we say common difference, it is a constant number added to each term of an arithmetic sequence to obtain the next term of the sequence. And when we say geometric sequence, it is a sequence where each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant called the common ratio. So when we say common ratio, it is a constant multiplied to each term of a geometric sequence to obtain the next term of the sequence. So let's have our first example. State whether the sequence is arithmetic or geometric sequence. So we have 4, 12, 36, and then 108. So to identify if the sequence is arithmetic or a geometric sequence, we will solve for the common ratio or the common difference of the sequence. So if we have compute for the common ratio of the sequence, then the sequence is geometric. Or if we have compute for the common difference of the sequence, then the sequence is an arithmetic sequence. So let's find first the common difference. So to solve for the value of the common difference, we will use the formula D is equal to the value of the second term minus the first term. D is equal to the value of the third term minus the second term. And D is equal to the value of the fourth term minus the third term. Then we will substitute the corresponding value. So we have the value of the second term is equal to 12. The value of the first term is equal to 4. And then 12 minus 4 is equal to 8. And the next, we have the value of the third term is equal to 36. The value of the second term is equal to 12. So 36 minus 12 is equal to 24. So the value of the fourth term is equal to 108 minus the value of the third term is equal to 36. So 108 minus 36 is equal to 72. So as you can see, the value of D is different with each equation. So therefore, the sequence 4, 12, 36, and 108 is not an arithmetic sequence. Now let's try if the sequence is an example of geometric sequence. So we will find the value of the common ratio using the formula R is equal to the value of second term divided by first term, the value of the third term divided by the value of the second term equals the value of the fourth term divided by the value of the third term. And then let's substitute the corresponding values. R is equal to the value of the second term is equal to 12. The value of the first term is equal to 4. So 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. And then we have the value of the third term is equal to 36. The value of the second term is equal to 12. So 36 divided by 12 is equal to 3. 
and then the value of the fourth term is equal to 108 the value of the third term is equal to 36 so 108 divided by 36 is equal to 3 so the common ratio is equal to 3 so therefore the sequence 4 12 36 and 108 is an example of geometric sequence so let's have another example state whether the sequence is arithmetic or geometric sequence so we have the sequence 7 14 21 and then 28 so let's now find the value of the common ratio so if the value of the common ratio is equal therefore it is a geometric sequence so we will use the formula r is equal to the value of the second term divided by the value of the first term equals the value of the third term divided by the value of the second term equals the value of the fourth term divided by the value of the third term and then we will substitute the corresponding values so we have r is equal to the value of the second term is equal to 14 divided by the value of the first term is equal to 7 so 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2 and then we have the value of the third term is equal to 21 the value of the second term is equal to 14 so 21 divided by 14 is equal to 1.5 equals the value of the fourth term is equal to 28 the value of the third term is equal to 21 so 28 divided by 21 is equal to 1.33 so the value of the common ratio is not equal with each other. Therefore, the sequence 7, 14, 21, and 28 is not an example of geometric sequence. So let's now find the value of the common difference. So if the value of the common difference is equal, therefore it is an example of arithmetic sequence. So we have the formula in finding the common difference d is equal to a sub 2 minus a sub 1 or the second term minus the first term and then d is equal to the value of the third term minus the second term and then the value of the common difference is equal to the value of the fourth term minus the value of the third term all we need to do is to substitute the corresponding value so the value of the second term is equal to 14 minus the value of the first term is equal to 7 so 14 minus 7 so d is equal to 7 so the value of the third term is equal to 21 minus the value of the second term is equal to 14 so 21 minus 14 is equal to 7 and then we have the value of the fourth term is equal to 28 minus the value of the third term is equal to 21. So 28 minus 21 is equal to 7. So the value of the common difference is equal with each other. Therefore, the sequence 7, 14, 21, and 28 is an example of arithmetic sequence. So let's have our third example state whether the sequence is an example of arithmetic sequence or an example of geometric sequence so we have the sequence negative 3 3 negative 3 and 3 so let's find first the value of the common difference if the value of the common difference is equal therefore the sequence is an example of arithmetic sequence so we have the formula in finding the common difference which is d is equal to the value of the second term minus the first term d is equal to the value of the third term minus the value of the second term and then common difference is equal to the value of the fourth term minus the value of the third term all we need to do is to substitute the corresponding values so the value of the second term is equal to 3 minus the value of our first term is equal to negative 3 so we will simplify so this one will be negative times negative 3 will be positive 3 so 3 plus 3 will be equal to 6 and then 
the value of the third term is equal to negative 3 minus the value of the second term is equal to 3. So negative 3 plus negative 3 is equal to negative 6. And then the value of the fourth term is equal to 3 minus the value of our third term is equal to negative 3. So negative times negative 3 will be positive 3. So 3 plus 3 will be equal to 6. So if the value of the common difference is not equal with each other, therefore it is not an example of arithmetic sequence. Next, let's find for the value of our common ratio. So if the value of the common ratio is equal, therefore it is an example of geometric sequence. So we will use the formula R is equal to A sub 2, the value of the second term, divided by the value of a sub 1, which is the first term, equals the value of the third term, divided by the value of the second term, equals the value of the fourth term, divided by the value of the third term. And then we will substitute. R will be equal to the value of the second term is equal to 3. The value of the first term is equal to negative 3. So 3 divided by negative 3 is equal to negative 1 equals the value of the third term is equal to negative 3 the value of the second term is equal to 3 so negative 3 divided by 3 is equal to negative 1 equals the value of the fourth term is equal to 3 the value of the third term is equal to negative 3 so 3 divided by negative 3 is equal to negative 1. So therefore, if the common ratio is equal with each other, therefore it is an example of geometric sequence. So let's have our last example. State whether the sequence is arithmetic or geometric sequence. So we have the sequence negative 21, negative 4, 13, and 30. Let's find first the value of the common ratio. So if the value of the common ratio is equal, therefore it is an example of geometric sequence. So we have the formula R is equal to the value of the second term divided by the value of the first term equals the value of the third term divided by the value of the second term equals the value of the fourth term divided by the value of the third term. And then after that, we will substitute the corresponding value so we have R is equal to the value of the second term is equal to negative 4 divided by the value of the first term is equal to negative 21. So negative 4 divided by negative 21 is equal to 0 0.19 equals the value of the third term is equal to 13 over negative 4 which is the value of the second term. So 13 divided by negative 4 is equal to negative 3.25 equals the value of the fourth term is equal to 30 over the value of the third term is equal to 13. So 30 divided by 13 is equal to 2.31. Since the value of the common ratio is not equal with each other, therefore the sequence negative 21, negative 4, 13 and 30 is not an example of geometric sequence. Let's now find the value of the common difference. So if the value of the common difference is equal with each other, therefore the sequence will be an example of arithmetic sequence. So the formula in finding the value of the common difference is common difference equals the value of the second term minus the value of the first term common difference is equal to the value of the third term minus the second term and common difference is equal to the value of the fourth term minus the value of the third term. All we need to do is to substitute the corresponding values. So the value of the second term is equal to negative 4 minus the value of the first term is equal to negative 21. So we have to simplify bring down negative 4 and the negative times negative 21 will be equal to positive 21. So positive 21 minus 4 will be equal to 17. And then we have the value of the third term is equal to 13 minus the value of the second term is equal to negative 4. 
So negative times negative 4 will be equal to positive 4. And then 4 plus 13 will be equal to 17. And then we have the value of the fourth term is equal to 30. Minus the value of the third term is equal to 13. So 30 minus 13 is equal to 17. So since the value of the common difference is all equal with each other, therefore the sequence negative 21, negative 4, positive 13, and positive 30 is an example of arithmetic sequence.